President Trump said he will announce his new travel order next week. His statement came the same day that hundreds of businesses across the country shut down to protest his immigration policies. Immigrants make up about 17 percent of the nation's labor force back in 2016. California, Texas, Florida, New York and Illinois have the largest immigrant populations in this country. Dean Reynolds is outside a restaurant in Chicago, which shut down to show support for immigrant employees. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, the Frontera Grill here closed its doors yesterday after a staff vote and hundreds of other restaurants around the, around the country did much the same thing or at least gave their immigrant employees the day off to protest. Protesters marched in defiance of President Trump's immigration ban Thursday as hundreds of businesses throughout the country closed their doors in solidarity. More than 23 percent of the restaurant industry's workforce is foreign born. That's nearly 2.3 million workers. Greg Dodge says immigrants make up around 90 percent of the kitchen staff in his Philadelphia restaurants. More than 80 restaurants closed in that city. I'm not happy about losing the income. I'm not happy about them losing their income to, to do this demonstration. I just I felt it was best to support them. Carmelo Sosa and Maria Flores's Allentown, Pennsylvania restaurant was one of just a few businesses to close in the area. We decided to close because we want to support the day. As of 2014, more than a quarter of the more than 42 million immigrants living in the U.S. are Mexican. Chicago's Little Village neighborhood is the largest Mexican community in the Midwest. Little Village Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Jaime DePaulo initially urged businesses to stay open. Even though business owners are losing a lot of money today, but we are in full support of our community. But Michael Moreno chose to close his family's Little Village liquor store anyway. There's nothing more powerful than for an entire community to tell people, wait a second, we're also part of this American dream. Now, about 50 restaurants in Chicago closed their doors here yesterday. They'll be reopened today for business, but another big protest is being planned for May 1st. Anthony? Dean Reynolds, thank you, Dean.